The biggest challenge right now for financial advisors, I think, is dealing with change. Whether that change is within their practice, whether that change is their clients changing the financial plan that they've spent time working on, and advisors need to revisit those conversations about their clients' goals and objectives and learn some skills to kind of peel out information about what's important to them now that we're post-pandemic, hopefully. And then I think the business model changes that, are, that they're going through in the advisory world, whether it's large firms, small firms, or anything in between, are, are really going to start to, um, to accelerate either through technology, through different service models, or through you know, other, other aspects to the practice. I think there's five trends that our board of directors has identified over the last year and a half. I'm just going to talk about a couple of them. The first is the role of technology and the acceleration of the, di the digital revolution. The way that clients are interacting with advisors is changing, and clients are comfortable having conversations about their life goals and their finances with, with their advisor via Zoom, not in person, no longer at the office. So that's going to have long-term effects in terms of the practice model, what advisors are investing in in terms of their offices, the type of professionals that they put in front of the client could come from anywhere. And I think how often a client is engaged by an advisor can start to accelerate because clients like to talk to their advisor more, especially in all of the uncertainty that's going on. So I think technology is a big change engine. And the second is, I think, the services that advisors are providing are going to become broader and broader and broader. That's been happening for 20 years, financial planning, and now we're into that wealth management boom where you need multiple professionals delivering a broad array of services, and those professionals have got to have advanced expertise and knowledge. So our organization is in the business of talent development. We help firms develop those skills and knowledge that are demanded by high net worth clients. And so whether that's retirement management, investment consulting, private wealth advice, all of those skills need to be delivered by today's contemporary wealth management firm. Teaming and credentialing are really uh, the wave of the future, right? That's been happening the last 10 years. We've been talking about teaming as a trend. And now with digital practices kind of breaking down physical borders, I think you're going to see more specialized teams delivering a variety of services and a lot more subject matter experts and advisory experts on the team. So a SEMA certification, for example, should be part of any advisory team regardless of their business model. They should have somebody on the team who can evaluate investment management strategies. A private wealth advisor, CPWA, that person should be on the team because you're going to have some high net worth clients with complex issues and you need a CPWA to handle those. And the third and maybe most important is every firm or team has re clients facing retirement. And so the Retirement Management Advisor certification really teaches those practitioners how to take those clients through a holistic client-centered process that's about them and not the products that will help carry them through retirement. As CEO of the Investments and in Wealth Institute, there's a lot that's changing, and I could talk for a long time about that, but I do want to kind of focus on one thing, and that is I think there's a return to in-person education and learning. We've all been trapped behind this screen, the computer, watching videos like this, uh, and spending our time you know, in home offices. Some of us are returning to the workplace and we're re-engaging, but people learn by doing, they learn by connecting with other people that are important to them. They learn by taking in all kinds of sensory information and it kind of helps people. There's all kinds of studies about how the neuroscience of learning works and that's how it works. So our annual conference in Nashville this year, Ace Academy, you know, we're expecting to have quite a few people show up because they've just been having this pent up need to learn and connect and engage with their peers. So I think we're gonna have a pretty cool turnout and a great conference in, uh, in May in Nashville. Yeah, so learning styles and learning trends uh, and learning technologies are expanding rapidly within the talent development world. 
One of the things we're excited about this year is rolling out this micro course model. So think about a micro course as a better way to earn one hour of CE. All of us have sat for that webinar and watched somebody talk at us, and maybe there's some Q&A. Really exceptional ones might have some breakout groups, but it's really, I would say, traditional um, dog and pony show style of education. Investments of Wealth Institute is the premier association for financial advisors. We're really the home for all types of advisors, whether financial planners, investment consultants, private wealth advisors, institutional consultants. If you have some business in delivering advice to an end client, then we're your association. And we have a broad range of members from independent advisors to wirehouse to bank to insurance and independent broker dealer members. We really are that representative association. And we, our members find the community that we provide where they can share best practices and how to you know, become experts in their field. This is where they come to, to, to really learn that and to earn those certifications that show that they have that expertise.